So I decided to rewatch Avatar The Last Airbender, and I forgot how good that show is. It is a fantastic show, like, at pretty much all levels. Um, I mean, the design is fantastic. I like how each of the nations have, like, a different inspiration in their clothing. Like, Water Nation has the Inuit inspiration. Fire Nation's very Chinese. Um, Airbenders are very Buddhist. I don't know what the Earth Kingdom is supposed to be, but it's also cool. Um, the, I guess you could say, magic system of bending is also fantastic. Um, I mean, there's very clearly defined rules and abilities that they can have for the most part. Um, I mean, I could probably imagine a lot of other things they could do with it, uh, some of which they do in Korra, but I'm not talking about that right now. Um, I haven't, I haven't rewatched that yet, but, uh, you know, the spirit world is interesting as well, even though I feel like they don't do much with it in this one. Um, but, you know, that's fine. I mean, the story itself is self-contained. It's perfect. It says what it wants to say. Um, it's a pretty, it's a pretty lengthy show. I think, it's, I think it's about like 60 some episodes. I think it's about 60 or 61 episodes or something like that. And that's like the perfect length because it's nice and long ish but it doesn't overstay its welcome and it's got like really good progression um you know it starts off kind of episodic and then the further you get into the show like by season three i'm sure there's a few episodic episodes but for the most part it's all leading towards one thing whereas uh season two a little bit but especially season one it's just kind of like here's our main goal is to get here or to accomplish this one thing but we're just gonna kind of screw around until then. Like season one's literally, hey, let's go to the North Pole. Uh, everything else in between is like, eh, whatever. Um, the characters are fantastic. Um, I would say it's hard to pick a best character if Iroh wasn't so strongly the best character. Like I just, I love everything about his character. He's so cool. Which usually I wouldn't say about some old guy character. They're they're usually not that interesting. But Iroh is probably the most interesting character and that says a lot considering some of the other characters that are in this uh for the most part i feel like everything in the show feels kind of earned even surprisingly zuko's arc like i was like rewatching, i didn't remember a lot so i was kind of worried that his would kind of feel undeserved but like he goes through the struggle you see it in him he's just like like he 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 starts off just angry all the time and like i want to restore my honor and then as you go through the show, he kind of matures a bit. He kind of becomes calmer. And then he has this like internal struggle with himself. And then he makes the decision that he ends up regretting later. And then he has to try to undo it. Uh, Toph is fantastic. She's hilarious. I love all the blind jokes. Um, but also, she's super cool. Um, I, honestly, I have to say my favorite episode probably is the one where they go to a play in the Fire Nation. And you get to see like the most extreme version of each of their characters which is funniest because Toph is not Toph she is a big buff man who screams at people to see <laughs> I mean the comedy is on point too literally I don't know if there's anything that's not on point everything everything looks good everything is written well everything is like built well all the characters are acted well I would say one of my only like issues I guess with the show is like like early on they do a little bit of like weird exposition that kind of doesn't fit in and they they like say stuff that's like oh, yeah I, I get that thanks but i mean for the most part especially after that they just they're really good at the show not tell and speaking of showing oh my god the action is amazing i would not expect something like that from like just about any other show it is so well choreographed uh, most of it is based off of real life martial arts, but they do it in a way that like feels like they're actually fighting. Like they're like, oh, the stances are so you uh you know get into the motion of the bending, but it also looks cool and it looks natural. It, like it feels like that's how they would fight. It doesn't feel like kind of weirdly inserted. But uh, as amazing as that is, speaking of which, I also went back and watched. The Last Airbender movie by M. Night Shyamalan, which is one of the worst things I think I've ever seen. Um, I did watch that movie like, God, it, it maybe has been like 10 years or something. I don't remember when it came out, but it's been a long time. 
it has been several years, and I there's there's almost no words to describe how bad it is. Like it's not even laughably bad. It's just like like if you've seen the show, you just cringe the whole time, and if you haven't seen the show, you're just like sitting there bored. Like what what is this show trying to say or do? Like it's just ugh. Um, right right away, there's a couple things you notice. Number one, the child actors are really bad like really bad and I don't know if that's because they're bad at acting or if they don't have any direction or if it's both I I suspect it might be a little of both I would probably guess it's mostly bad direction and I feel like that killed a couple of careers so way to go M. Night Shyamalan if that is indeed your fault but um so that's thing number one that's just the first thing uh then you quickly realize they really like to say a lot and not show much. Like, it, it's just long, drawn-out speeches and explanations, and it's just like, just show it to me, please. Just stop making this as complicated as possible. And then, of course, the thing that I praised the uh, the show about was the action. This has some of the worst action and worst choreography I've ever seen. Like, they do a bunch of the martial arts and stuff, but they don't kind of flow naturally with the battle, and the bending is kind of flaccid. And by kind of flaccid, I mean it's, like, drooping down to the ground flaccid. Like, there's there's a moment, like, if you've seen the movie, you're, no, you're gonna know the moment I'm talking about, with, like, ten guys uh, doing this entire dance routine just to lift one rock, like a, like a small rock. But then you see one guy make an entire wall out of, like, earth. And it's like, wh- what are the rules here? <laughs> Why does it take a ton of guys to f- throw one rock and then it takes one guy to make a wall? Like, have some consistency here. Like, in the show, it's like, one person can do a lot. But if you have a lot of people, you can do way more. Like, you can move... Ma- like, with earthbenders, you can... Like, you can throw a large boulder with an earthbender... But with multiple earthbenders, you can, like, move a mountain. But in the, sh- but in the movie, it's like, the, the rules are so inconsistent, you need, like, ten dudes to move one rock. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. And, um, what else? Nobody can pronounce anything right. Um, Aang is pronounced Ong. Iroh is pronounced Iro. Um, I mean, there's many other things, but those are the two that stick in my mind, especially Ong. Like, if you can't even get the name rights, I mean, seriously. And then they change so many minute details that are like, this added nothing. Why did you ch- why did you change it if it adds nothing? Like, if you're going to change, make a change for the better, or at least do something experimental. Don't just, like, change something really minor and have it mean nothing. Like, instead of talking to the previous avatars, Aang would always talk to a dragon spirit. For some reason. I don't know why. They don't explain why he's important. They just say he's a dragon spirit. Okay. Um, just a lot of the designs are awful. Like costume design is pretty garbage. It's, it's uninteresting or very different from the show. Like the waterbenders um, of the, like the southern tribe um, in the show, they're all blue, but they're still like pelts. In in the movie, it's they're, they're just like brown pelts. It's just, they're just pelts. It's like okay, that's not consistent with the costume design. And then the Northern Water Tribe, they're wearing like some of the least warm things you could wear, but they're still blue. Like okay, I don't see what that accomplishes. Um, oh, they changed how firebending works so that you need fire around, because otherwise it wouldn't be fair. Apparently, at least that's what I've heard is the reasoning. It's bad reasoning. And then they they freak out when someone makes fire from nothing. And it's like... Like The the whole movie was a struggle. And then... And then they they show the Fire Lord way too early. And... Like, even the adults can't act. (laughs) Oh god, there was just one time where Zuko was explaining his backstory. But he had a kid explain it to him. He had a kid explain him his own backstory. (sighs) And then they kind of set it up like they were going to make more movies. And obviously that didn't work out because everyone hated it. I would have to say, the funniest part, and not for the reasons it should be funny, but the funniest part 
was where Aang did a Three Stooges routine with with Prince Zuko. It was not funny because it was a Three Stooges te- uh, routine. It was funny because of how out of place it was. Ugh, I mean, just acting's bad, costume design's bad, the effects don't hold up at all, they're really, they're not great, choreography's bad, everything's, everything's bad about that movie. And honestly, I would have rather had nothing. I, you have the show, though, so just, like, stick with the show. Don't watch the movie unless you're giving it a hate watch, and even then, it's just kind of like, uh, it's kind of just tough to sit through. Uh, but the show's fantastic. I have decided that it is one of my favorite shows of all time because it's just so good. And it it just, I even forgot to say, it gets dark, but it still manages to stay appropriate for kids. And that, I think, is a feat in and of itself. But yeah, it's a great show. I loved it. Uh, thank you for listening. Click all the buttons and have a nice day.